Question number two, $20,500,000. Question number three, $20,500,000. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Um, this question is addressed to my jury. Is this your verdict? So say each and all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, would the attorneys like to examine the verdict? All right. Um, then I'm going to accept this as a verdict of the jury in order that the clerk enter it upon the minutes of the court. All right. Uh, at this time, I am required by the rules of the Supreme Court of Texas to give you one more of the many, many instructions I have given you over the past two weeks. I have previously instructed you that you should observe strict secrecy during the trial and during your deliberations, and that you should not discuss the case with anyone except other jurors during your deliberations. I am now about to discharge you. After your discharge, you are released from your secrecy, and you will then be free to discuss the case and your deliberations with anyone. However, you Where are, are they showing the jurors? These guys aren't the jurors, the chat. The These are the lawyers. You mean these After guys over here? It is lawful for the attorneys or other persons to question you. Bro, they also dox the jurors too. The standards for jury conduct that I have given you in the course of this trial were violated, and to ask you to give an affidavit to that effect. You are free to discuss or not discuss these matters and to give or not give an affidavit. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for your jury service. Without you it, our system of justice could not exist. I hit it. I hope that you have benefited. They didn't extent, dox them, but they did talk about their names. They read their names out loud. I will um, release you, and then Ms. Magic Steele has some paperwork for you, and then I will step into the jury room in a few minutes to um, thank you a little less formally. Excuse me, but you are now excused. Thank Bro, so that's forty much. million right. dollars, dude. What the fuck? I mean, it's less than one hundred and fifty million that were originally asked for, but god damn, forty million? That's fucking mm mm mm, baby. Oh, that's so good. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. These are capped. They don't get all this, I believe. Capped to seven hundred k each change. Yeah, fuck Texas, but like, whatever, dude. Plus the four million, four point five million ish yesterday. I think that might be all we need on the record. Is there anything else? I have something I want to put on the record that's post trial. Like I need something on the record today, so it's contemporaneous. Okay. But I don't know if it needs to be at this moment. Go. Okay. Simply, Your Honor, uh, that we ask that the plaintiffs make an election as to Mr. Heslin, uh, and also to notify the court that the verdict does not conform to Chapter Forty One of the Texas Civil Practice and Remedies Code. And that we will be filing an objection to the entry of judgment. Um, yes, so we do have laws in Texas where we claim to trust our juries and then we don't trust our juries. That's right. true. And I'm sure the judgment will properly reflect the laws of the state of Texas in that regard. So don't need to worry about that. Um, I think now is a fine time to put something on the record. God it needs damn, to be done dude. Sure. Okay, yeah. And you, you can sit down. Sorry, I thought I had said that. Combined with the compensatory damages, $49,300,000, dude. Okay, Your Honor, I have uh, two things. This is the first of three trials for damages against Mr. Jones. Two or more are scheduled for next month, one in Texas and one brought by the families of eight victims in Connecticut where laws governing damages favor the plaintiffs more than in Texas. And of course, Connecticut is where the shooting occurred. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The only issue is that Alex fucking Jones has like, oh, get fucked, you fucking fuck. Oh, God. Um, so I want to do that just in a brief summary fashion now so I can have those points up. So does this money go to the families? <coughs> yes, this money goes to Obviously, one family, one individual family. millions of dollars for Mr. Jones before the jury went back for Peter. The damages <laughs> certainly didn't want to mistrial. Um, and, but some things came up that I believe are sanctionable. Um, Dealing with us parties for the past, you know, since 2021, we were remanded. I know you've seen a, a cavalcade of lawyers come in and out and sanctionable conduct, and, and it doesn't stop. Um, the three things I want to bring up first is that Mr. Reynolds constant relying on the 
expression to the jury of that there were 27 hours of video of Sandy Hook coverage. Um, I want you to think back to the first objection in this case. You've heard so many objections in this case, but the very first one was Mr. Reynolds' board that was over here with the 27 hours. Um, there have been at least since that was ruled to be not a appropriate statement to make to the jury. There have been, by my count, at least 10 times where that has occurred, and objections have been raised on that. And in fact, your words to Mr. Reynal were crystal clear. Mr. Reynal, you cannot do that. Mr. Reynal didn't care. He got up in the closing statement and did it. But this time it was even worse. Do you think other families are, su other families are suing already? Seven hours were the total, which is, is bad enough. You know, because he had said, we've devoted more time to Sandy Hook than Alex Jones ever did. When Mr. Reynal made that statement, he knew it was false. He knew that was a false Um but it's worse because he started to say that we either could have or should have brought evidence of the additional videos and claim that it was our fault for not putting more videos in front of the jury. And Dude, he's adding, he's adding, he's just fucking doing a touchdown. Uh, uh, he's doing an end zone dance right now. That's what he's doing. For those of you wondering, like, what's this lawyer doing right now? He's just doing a fucking celebration dance. He's going after the lawyer now. He, he fucked... He absolutely ass fucked Alex Jones out of forty, almost fifty million dollars, and now he's just teabagging the defense attorney. That we were behind the eight ball. That that people have testified repeatedly in this case that videos have been destroyed and God knows where they are, and that we requested. He's doing the Fortnite L dance remember, right now. And transcripts that we never got that we inadvertently got later that there were some transcripts prepared by a court reporter of those videos in 2019, and we still don't have. Them. Which means they were in counsel's possession because they were sent to a court report for transcription. We believe that is so outrageous um, that we will be seeking sanctions of the highest power for all of that. The second is that this court has, in this entire district, has a standing order in limine regarding the social cost of the jury. And, and what this is, is you cannot tell a jury that punishing a guilty party will have an effect on, on non-parties who are not engaged in unlawful conduct. The most classic example of this would be in a car wreck case to say it's going to raise all your insurance rates. You can't say that. In this case- Your was, Honor, I fucked Alex Jones in the ass so hard that like his lawyer stood idly by and therefore he should be disbarred. That's the summarization. Punish this person because it would have the effect of deterring legal speech. That is absolutely impermissible. That is a social cost of an award. That is violates motion of limit 21. Alex Jones has to pay $49 million Finally, in his face when his lawyers leaked his text priceless. It's so good. Court that prevents the defendants from contesting allegations in the plaintiff's petition. One of those key allegations is it is true that, that you worked Jones for the Young Turks? No, never. That Alex Jones is an alter ego of his own company. That was an accepted allegation that was admitted by the default judgment. And, and, and in fact, that order of limity was an agreed order from the defendant's side. During the closing argument, we were lambasted for lumping these two together. And there was, there was plenty of argument about how they made it separate. So we have three different grounds that we need to raise at this time for a contemporary objection that will be added to basically every single day we're going to have something we're going to bring in that additional sections. Um, so we needed to bring that to you now. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about, and maybe you want to talk about it separately, or I don't know what we can do about it, but um, I have not been given any confidential designations about that phone. I'm, I'm ready to hand I it over right now. I thought you already had. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared right now to hand it over to whoever wants it, because nothing about it's gone. Uh, and I did get Just some... don't knowingly transfer other people's private medical information. Exactly. Um, um, and I believe there might be some other private information. I mean, I, I, Bro, he I is. He's literally just, just like, he's ass blasting also. him. Um, but there were some, there was a privilege log filed this morning. It is not compliant for many reasons. Uh, one, it's just not a compliant privilege log. Doesn't identify any documents, doesn't provide dates, doesn't provide a description it's of the subject up. matter, none of that. It's just every single communication I have with this person's privilege. A Texas rude, privilege please. log has to identify each specific document sufficient for me to be able to identify the privilege. But it doesn't really matter because privilege is already we're, we're 14 days past inadvertent disclosure notice. Um, we, we had those that, that time running. So we don't believe, we believe that privilege law is ineffective and meaningless. Um, but because it has been filed and there has been an assertion of privilege, I would like 
I would like to get a ruling for the court instead of just my assumption that that privilege does not apply. Well, I thought my order yesterday was that he had yes that Mr. Raynal had yesterday to identify any specific documents. In terms of confidentiality, yes. In terms right. of confidentiality. In terms of privilege, I think we we reached that his way. This man, um, bro. But in terms of confidentiality about releasing it outside of this lawsuit, it was provide those to me today. We don't have any. It basically well, just said we can't. Yesterday. Right. Them. Correct. Yes. Correct, Your Honor. So those are the two things I wanted to raise with you today. All right, Mr. Raynal. I don't think that Mr. Bankston's first speech deserves a response at this point because there's nothing before it. Um, as to the issue of the privilege log, we sent a letter to Mr. Bankston this morning. We uh, copied the court on it. There are core attorney-client privilege communications in there. We Stop. identified them by um, by a document. It's a PDF. We said, you know, these are his communications with his lawyer. Bro, you have that's nothing. That's you have that's nothing. That's Just cool. take it. Lick uh, your wounds, bro. Go home and lick your wounds, homie. You're fucked. Not passed because we became aware of the inadvertent disclosure while Mr. Jones was testifying. Dude, that's not true. Well, that is our position, Your Honor. Oh, okay, you're the one who gave me the email that showed me that you had known about it 12 days earlier. Mr. So, Bankston represented in that email that he was not going to download the documents. That Therefore, is not true. Well, that is our position, Your Honor. <laughs> I mean, you have the email, so it's- That's right. I have it, and I read it, and I saw what it said, and it didn't say what you just tried to tell me. Well, if Your Honor disagrees, that's your point. I disagree with the written word in front of me. Yes, that's right. Thank Bro, you. what the fuck? I will review the uh, motions for sanctions when you file them. Bro, when the judge starts laughing at you for saying that, like, what you are seeing in front of you and what you read is what is not what we intended to say, I you're fucking done, you dude. Already responded Ether. to any request. It's like, Your Honor, I know I said certain things on an email, you. but you know, I thought I'm something different Congress. than what I said. Oh, I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, there's, like, there's the phone. It's not even a phone. There are text I, messages I, from 2019. They have okay. nothing to do with Congress. I, I'm not getting in the middle of that. Nothing is properly before me to get in the middle of that fight. Atlas Bunny says, the judge laughed at my dad in divorce court. It's a sign of amazing, amazing fucking to come. Oh, God. Is your dad reactionary as fuck now? Very much and for the court staff service as well. Thank you. Nothing to do with that. All right, we can go off the record. Um, I've already told you that you have to prepare the judgment, and I would like that um, preferably by next week if possible. We can do that. Um, I do go and speak with the jury, and it is my practice to invite attorneys to come and speak with them if you would like to. Given the hour, five o'clock, there's not going to be a lot of time, but if you're interested in that, um, I will send someone out to come and get you. Attorneys only, um, not parties. That's how I do it in every case. Uh, now, when the jury leaves, of course, so, you know, um, I'm not in charge at that point. And um, we have made space available for both teams this week. I would like to... Uh, <laughs> Your Honor, I was in goblin mode. ...ask you to go and make sure that both spaces are clean and put away... <clears throat> Um, you haven't left anything behind, and when those um, when those judges reclaim their spaces, they will be happy to have lent them to you. So if you'll take care of that right now as well, please. We'll do. It. Thank All you. All right. Thank no, you. Oh, one, one more thing. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> We're set for free trial. Um, September. Okay, 19 is a Monday, so... Uh, He's like, I didn't get enough. Let's do this again sometime, Your Honor. 17, 17, 16, the 14th of September in Posner. 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 At this point... My dad is a transphobic piece of shit whose sole news source are Drudge Report and Breitbart. Ooh, old school Republican. She laughed in his face after he claimed to be living out of his car despite making 160 k a year. He can suck my ass. God damn. God damn.